Hey, what's good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? My name is BBK Dragoon. I'm coming at you today with a game of Infinity Slayer, and I finally have my recording set up the way I like. Uh, today, we are hopping on board with Smookalulalu. I'm going to be calling you Smooka, bro. That's going to be the easiest. Catching some really rough luck off the start. Getting the kill from the grave? No way. I did not see that. Uh, one of the things I really just quickly want to point out is this bro right here gets your sniper. Okay, why did I point that out? You'll find out in a moment. Okay, so replay reviews, banana, let's go. Quarter three isn't really here, but it's sort of here. So I've watched this replay once. I had a few moments where I literally like was like, yo, oh, nice, yeah, yeah. like had verbal reactions to the game, which is always my favorite when I'm watching a replay and you're like, is that gonna happen? That totally happened. Okay, okay, all right, here's what's important. Check it out, what's on your screen? The dead X, what is that X? The X of the teammate you saw getting the sniper. You did see him pull the sniper. Yes. Okay. Now, this is, you know, minute stuff, but sniper is right there. Beautiful, isn't it? It's just sitting there in the dirt. Mmm. You're going to take this uh, champion out right there, but you're not going to end up getting the sniper rifle pickup, which is a missed opportunity, and I'm going to point that out. For the new replay reviews, I'm looking at... Five pieces of criteria, well technically four, uh, but from the beginner's guide way back in Halo Reach, uh, my five areas that I asked you all to rate yourselves on was accuracy, map knowledge, decision making, communication, and handling pressure. So we're going to be taking a look at those things, except communication, because I can't really talk about that. Okay, first major point here um, of difference, or things that I would disagree with. Calling the OS over the saw. I'm just going to say my piece here. I think the saw is the best weapon ever for this map. I think the saw is more powerful than the rocket launcher. I think that thing is so insane after the turbo update. And the fact you didn't call it in uh, is a little disappointing for me. Now, I like that as soon as you get the OS, you push into the action, you make things happen. But that saw and ring 3 control lets you own the game. They cannot come up any which way. To contest with you if you're using that saw correctly now the DMR choice I'm also a little bit puzzled with this especially on a smaller map like abandon a map that features what I would consider to be some pretty small sight lines one of the things I also want to note here is we are at 1020 I think it was 1020 exactly um, I'll back it up here so you can see oh my gosh no okay good the replay mode sometimes does um, it will loop Promethean Vision. Yeah, it's doing it. Oh my gosh. Okay, alright. I'm back. Sorry. The replay mode sometimes loops the Promethean Vision sound effect, and it makes me want to punch something, like, really hard. It frustrates me. So take a look at the game clock. You want to be paying attention, because the first OS is going to pop here in just a moment. There you go. There it goes, right there. First OS is up. If we look at the time on the clock, it is 10.25. None of your teammates are in position, and it doesn't make sense to me because you have full ring control. The tower is yours. There's one blue player up here, uh, but there's really no reason that you shouldn't be patrolling and getting ready to drop down in this area. All you really need to do is position yourself on the lip out here, and you have a few different ways to drop down and pick this guy up, especially with thrust pack, which you have. You can just go off the edge, thrust in. So, the DMR choice I find a little bit unique after the turbo update. Oh, by the way, everybody, this is a CSR 24 gameplay. Uh, I forgot to give the little description. Um, the email states that this game starts out well, but at the end, they lose by a bit. And he would like to know why they lose by a bit and how to raise his CSR in general. So, first, I'm going to talk specifically about this game, and then we'll talk about CSR a little bit more in general. Raising it, you know, over time. I would have gone with the BR, absolutely. I think the BR um, out handles any gun in the game uh, aside from the light rifle uh, I think the light rifle if you are playing to its strengths longer sight lines or if you're Unishek uh, it's really good I th <laughs> going for the what the old school like sprint nade trick anybody who played Halo right around launch knows that glitch it was amazing I'm very sad that they nerfed that uh, real quick let's look at this play real fast let's look at this real fast so you're, you're getting arrogant here. You see the blue team is certainly positioned on that side of the map. And you're getting ready to poke your head out there. Get the nade. You're trying for the stick. Um, but when that stick misses and you poke back out, no, 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 no. This is back down time. It's very lucky that you didn't get killed right there. 
but this is this is time to back down. This will keep you alive longer, and this will make it easier for you to maintain that higher KD. You don't have to waste all the time dying, going to a spawn, and then getting back up here. What you do is you walk backwards, you float down, and look at your escapes. You can escape over here. Saw's going to show up eventually over here. I think it's coming up actually pretty soon. Uh, or you can just back down back there. You get tons of escape routes. This is not an area you should contest. It's time to back down. You don't have the numbers game. It's only you there, and there's two or three pushing you. Time to back down. Would have kept you alive a little bit longer, and we spawn off in the middle of nowhere. Check a look at the clock. Oh, here we go. Melee in for the other hit. You are playing on a super high sensitivity. Um, six or seven? I'm going to guess. You can let me know if I'm wrong or if I'm completely off. And it's going to show in your shots. Number one on the chart is accuracy, and you're going to be swinging left and right of players a lot of the times. And this usually is an indication of a sensitivity that's too high. Granted, players don't like to hear this, but I would always rather have a slower sensitivity, achieve more accuracy with shots, rather than the flickiness. I hate the flicky. Okay, timing-wise, power weapons are coming up in just a moment. It's 8.58 on the clock. I think it's going to be 8.50 or 8.45 that they're going to come up. You've positioned yourself in a unique place, pretty far in the blue people spawn. Blue people... He's got a nice sight line on you. He's got a snipe on his back, even. Jeez. Um, now, if you're positioning yourself here to go for a snipe seal on their snipe, which is going to pop up right down there in a moment, I like that. It's kind of arrogant, and it's, it's bold, but you could you know, try and steal their snipes and jump off the cliff with it, making sure they don't have a sniper, because your teammates are on that side of the map, which confirms that the next set of power weapons, you'll have a sniper, or your team will have a sniper, and they won't. Uh, but you're not going to do that. So think about that. There's not a reason to be out here on this position of the map. Let's not be out here. There's that um, snipes right there. So if you sprint over, you steal that sucker, and you start hanging on the cliff right here, and you, and you try for these little pop shots. It's arrogant, and, and it's dangerous, but you can always jump off the cliff and take their sniper with them, which is a pretty cool uh, denial um, of their power weapon. So This is how I can tell your sensitivity is really high. Oh, and he pulls the OS! That was the first moment in the game where I sort of lost it. I was like, that's sick. I don't know if you timed that. I don't think you actually timed that. Okay, so only two of the shots connected right there. you got to be more on point, especially in these tight quarter situations, dude. Snipe is up. What are you doing? Snipe is up. What are you doing? Go get that sniper. You are the man. When you're playing in pubs, dude, this is too much time that this is sat over here. Too much time. If you see that your teammates aren't going for it, okay. You want to be polite? Okay. But this is pubs, and you say in your email these are randoms. Go over there. Pick that sucker up. You've got an OS. It's your time to shine, dude. This is what public matchmaking is when you go in solo. Okay, next ordinance. Oh my gosh, get out of the beam pole! That guy got shot in the face, son. Oh, he dropped a snipe, too. He dropped their snipe. Let's see. Did I see it? Oh my gosh. No. Wait. Yes, I think I see it. Wait. That's... Never mind. I saw nothing. You saw nothing. Killing spree. Alright, he calls in the speed boost. And this is where it all goes to absolute freaking chaos. When you call your ordinance in, where you are looking is where it's going to come come in. So you're looking right at this rock. Check it out. Looking right at the rock. You call it in. Where does it come? In a really awkward spot. That's a horrible place. If you were to push the button right now, good stuff. You got your speed boost right there. But instead, here's where it all goes, Whippy Lou. Check it out. Your snipes is still there, by the way. Go get the go get the sniper. It's more important than the speed boost. I promise. They definitely have ring three control, so getting back your speed boost is going to be crazy hard. Oh, look what else is up. The weapon, I think, is the most powerful on this map. After the buff, I'm really good. Feather the trigger, and you'll be a happy camper. Oh, oh, no, no, ah, ah. I'm not allowed to show that. He told me to cut that out, so you saw nothing. You're right there. No, no, what, no, go. It's so good. Ah, la, 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 la. You could have a free saw instead of jumping into the guy who has rocket. Go get the saw! Forget about your speed boost. Stop. That saw is gone. He's gone now. It's to the guy who has active camouflage. All right, so now we've entered into the speed boost portion of this game, which is pretty cool. Um, Let's see here. Oh, pick that saw up. No! Be greedy. Take it! It's so good! Pull that OS and you lose your... Oh, okay, yeah, okay. There we go. 
Did you guys know if you pull OS, won't let you keep speed? It's kind of a bummer, right? Okay. No, no, no. I just want to see. Oh, yeah. Six stick, bro. That was, was a pretty good spot that you threw your nade in right there. Accuracy-wise, I think it's too high a sensitivity, especially for your DMR, which... DMR, you're not allowed to drop shots. The kill time is already too slow, man. If you want to use DMR, you're using it for really long sightline maps, and you're using it for gunfights where you want to, like, abuse the lack of descope in Halo 4. This is... Major like the majority of your engagements are close quarters. Now you pick it up. You should just run with BR off starts, bro. Give it a try, I promise. And maybe knock that sensitivity down one notch. Probably could be a little bit better. So let's look at your map knowledge. I like the fact that you are playing the center ring. That's appropriate, that's right. What I don't like is the fact that you're not timing power weapons. Look at look at where you're at right now. You're sort of in there. Would you call this their court? I know there's a call out for this spot right here. Boxes, anyway. Um, it's almost 545, and the weapons are coming up. Where are you? Yeah, 605. You're not set up for your snipe. You're not set up for their snipe. And you're also not set up for the OS. So, that's a critique with map knowledge that you'll want to work on. These are such huge deals. Like, everything in Halo revolved around these. Back before we had ordnance that dropped from the sky. So, I'll fast forward here. There's the snipe, 545. Yeah, yours isn't going to spawn for a while because yours... <laughs> nobody picked it up for, like, 100 years. There's the OS. Missed the OS. Oh, your teammate got it. Good pull. Good pull. Again, probably would have been good to be sitting around that area, though, to help him and support him. Pulling the Needler. A weapon I completely am horrible with. Look, look just look how fast, though. Left, right, left, right, left, right. You got this flick going. Flick, flick. How do you handle under pressure? Criteria number five. You jump and you thrust. Jump and thrust. And jump. A lot of panic jumping. No, no, no. Don't jump in. Strafe it. Don't jump in. Strafe it. See? See, that's that should have been an easy kill. That took four shots. One shot. Turn around. Get shots on the next guy. Or pull the saw that was on your feet. Saw right there. Easy to finish up. Snipes! Snipes, bro! Don't play too hasty. Even though you guys are down on score, if you would have had power weapons in your hand a few more times, that 10 kill difference would be different. Now, granted, you are backpacking for your team, but so is the other guy. You do have one player on... I don't, I don't want to blame teammates, because every game, teammates are totally different. There's a lot further you can be doing to kicking butt, and I'm just looking at that through the five criteria. I guess it's four, because I'm not looking at communication, but accuracy, map knowledge... Decision making and handling pressure. Decision making, I, I basically think that's power weapons. This is not a good decision. You are, like, in their grill. Four shots left in the DMR. You only have guys half shield, and they're all looking at you. Time to back down. No teammates in sight. Back down. Back down. This is a free kill for them. Free kill. No need to engage right there. Set up on ring three. You guys got ring three? They can attack into you, or they can play super duper slow. Game over. All right, that was actually a really cool game. I like the OS pull that you had. The stick earlier was awesome. Do not no. Okay, I was going to... No. You can't do that unless you earn it, bro. No no love taps unless you earn them love taps. Oh, text message. All right, thanks for the replay, Smooka. First of all, let's go through the four points. Accuracy. Needs work. I definitely lowered the sensitivity, and I would give yourself some practice time. Octagon is going to be your best friend, but if you don't have uh, someone to play Octagon with, Spartan Ops or Campaign is actually a really good way to train your shot. I know it sounds crazy, but do give it a try, and definitely give the BR a try, especially on these smaller maps. Now, if you sent me a replay on a larger map, maybe a different story, but I just don't think the DMR is really worth it unless you are goofing off around a higher level we're working really hard to train that gun. I think the BR is going to be your best tool, and that's going to help you, especially if you want to raise your CSR further. Map knowledge. Decent. You held the center, and you focused on the center. But didn't time OS, which sort of falls into decision making, and also didn't pick up the saw, which falls into both categories. The saw, in my opinion, best weapon on this map, hands down. Small, close quarters. Most players want to control ring three. It's useful, and you definitely want to pick it up. Also, in the ordnance, you definitely want to call that sucker in over 
something like an OS. That's just my opinion. I can't talk about communication because, well, it's Xbox Live. Finally handling pressure. You jump a lot, and I say that a lot because I do it a lot too, and it's easy to do. So I think with a lower sensitivity, you're going to feel more comfortable when somebody is up in your grill engaging you and less wanting to escape out of it. Your fights, when they aren't engaging you, go fairly well. But when it's back and forth between you, the trades are more in the blue team's favor. That's the replay. Thanks for sending that in, Smooka. You have a great day. And peeps, if you have critiques, you can leave them down below too. Be nice. Otherwise, I will be like, no, bet. And I will see you on the next replay review.